Welcome everybody back to stage number two of making a scratch built picture frame for community living options in Adelaide, South Australia. So here I am clamping everything together, ready to put insert the metal brackets and also screw them in. It's a bit of a tedious process, but uh, it needs to be done. And I'll also put in pilot holes for the dowel to go in as well. So you can see there, I'll clean up those pilot hole, uh, the dowels later. But that's the setup. Here is frame number two, just mapped out, ready to see how it all goes together. Now everything gets all glued into place. And I'll show you in a second how that all looks again. I'm just clamping, getting, going to show you all the sides. They're fairly thin, only about 12 mil thick. Now I'll, this will all be weighted down and leave to set overnight. Now it's all dry. I dowel all the corners and do a cross dowel. And I prefer to do it this way. It just adds in a lot more strength to the actual picture frame. Can't get staples in there because they'll just snap the timber, unfortunately and sta staples tend to pull out after a while especially if it's been hanging in one hanging in one location for a while and now I have already pilot hold where the screw is going to go in with a little rebate and I just get them started with the screwdriver because these sides again are, are very very thin so they get gingerly screwed into place And then once these are gingerly put in, I'll go around with a screwdriver and just uh, give them a quick tighten up for extra insurance against any play that might happen. And this will also get rid of any, any little twist that might be happening in the timber. And then the next stage, I'm just mapping everything out. I'm carefully using my magnifier to check my measurements. I prefer to do this by hand, it's just easier for me to see. Might take a bit longer, but at least I get accuracy. So I repeat process the whole way around. And now you can see frame number one just in its mapped out format and frame number two in its raw format and those corner pieces I've never made before it's a nice little experiment I hope it pays off in the end and also there's little spaces that I've put in as well I've never made those before so this is all new all a bit of fun got to keep fresh otherwise keep producing the same old stuff people just get bored of what you got so each individual component now gets stained in various colors and dark always works best on the outer air perimeter of a frame and here are the pieces ready to be spray painted gold and that stain underneath will help give it depth and body so several coats of gold spray paint will go on moving the can around in several different directions to get good coverage and I've got other pieces for other projects going at the same time as well and these are the corner pieces for stage 2 frame they've been blocked off and I'm just carefully spray painting the routed inner ridge All of the pilot holes going in have already been pre-marked with the black texto so I know where to put things. And this is frame number one. And on the other side too I'll put a little rebate so all the screws that go in uh, will sit flush with the timber so there's no chance of it grabbing onto anything. And this is frame number two with the blurb. Repeating process. Might seem tedious but it's got to be done. 
here are all the gold pieces good to go and you can see those additional pieces I've got for other projects ready for the just in case now screwing everything back in the back of frame number one and also pilot holes as well have been done and this will make sure everything sits the way it should again I can't use staples because they, they will just pull out after a while the screws have got bite and they'll hold the timber in place so here are the two frames in their raw format I like how the lighting is casting various shadows off the timber so you can see that they're also a nice match so this is the direction we're heading for frame number two for the blurb so here's a close-up of the corner section again uh, those that lighting is really showing some interesting shadows and the intricacy of the frame the, from the inlays that I've put in can't wait so there you go there's your number two with the blurb that's the direction we're heading and here's a close-up so now you can see how I blocked off the those corner pieces so I could spray paint the outer edges where the router had been so it creates a nice interesting flow now this bit is very important this is the cleaning phase with a little bit of methylated spirits because if any of that is present while I go to varnish it will look terrible and it will deposit itself in places I don't want it to be so the varnishing stage this shows you how close I've got to get in order to see what I'm doing but also my hand is also telling me what's going on through the paintbrush I'm feeling with the paintbrush through my fingers if there's too much varnish on there if there's not enough uh, I can feel it dragging if I've gone over an area too much and because the frame's so intricate I've got to kind of dabble dab it on as well there'll be five coats in total second coat on we'll have a light sand and a clean and then the last coat will be sanded and polished with an orange oil polish also um, a sleeve will be placed on the back once the artwork and blurb are put in and that'll be screwed into place and also wire hangers and here is just a double check make sure everything's really good to go to the customer and as you can see the varnish has really brought those colors up now you can really see the depth in the the actual frame so here are the two frames ready to go on the wall at community living options thank you very much for commissioning me the artworks can be viewed at Edwardstown office yep and my nickname is danger mouse here is a copy of my ophthalmologist eye condition because most people don't believe me that I can actually can create artwork of this capacity thanks for watching catch me up on Facebook handcrafted furniture and picture frames or my artwork at 40art.com.au also on Facebook and there I am danger mouse bye